He smiles. He celebrates. Dresses up and dresses down. Even makes visual jokes. And in Zimmerly Art Museum's latest exhibition on portraiture, he's generating a lot of buzz. These 445 South portraits are thought to have been taken in a photo booth or booths over the course of two to three decades. And while those involved certainly know the man's face, no one knows his name. I was in New York at an antique show. I saw examples of, of these, uh, only, six, uh, only nine or 12 of them, and they were displayed in, a, in um, someone's booth. I said, how many do you have? And he says, oh, I have uh, three or 400. Lakuta speculates that the man in the pictures may have been a photomat maintenance worker who tested repairs by taking his own photo. And I realized that it's very uncommon uh, to have someone make multiple photographs through different times of their life. The museum has dubbed the collection 445 selfies, playing on the newest phenomenon in portraiture. It's taken on this new explosive interest because of the smartphone and selfies. And artists have always been interested in using their own presence, their own um, human face as a representation of other sort of larger human issues, but also as a representation of their own thoughts and desires. Um, so the selfie really grows out of, you know, a tradition of self-portraiture. And it's this derivation that raises the question, are selfies art? Now it's being looked at as a real kind of portraiture. And critics like Jerry Sauls in New York Magazine, this young woman, Alicia Ayler, have been, begun to really look at it as a kind of portraiture that's developing its own aesthetic. I think it's very important uh, to always uh, express yourself, whether it's selfies or whatever type of art that you like. But if they do it, have intentions, and are aware of them, then that should make it art. In an exhibit surrounded by paintings from the 1800s and Warhol's screen tests, though, Lakuta thinks the anonymous man would find his selfies out of place. What would he say if he saw these photographs at the Zimmerly Museum now and every, hundreds of people were looking at them? I have no idea, but I, thought, I think he would be totally amazed. But I think, yeah, these are, these are self-portraits. There's no question. He had to push that button and make his photograph. Only time will tell if selfies find a permanent place in the art world. But if they do, portraiture and collections like our anonymous man will have laid the groundwork. In New Brunswick, I'm Maddie Orton for NJTV News.